Load the agent man vary.cdl. Here is a humanoid agent skinned with geometry. When we create crowds of these agents, we don't want them all to look the same. So we use agent variables to get a diverse crowd with just one agent. In the body page, we go down to the variables tab to add the agent variables. The first thing we want to vary is the agent's height. So click on add and change the name to height and give it a range of 0.8 to 1.2. Now when we place the agents, they will be randomly given heights of between 0.8 scale and 1.2 scale. Interestingly, smaller people may not necessarily have smaller heads. All humans have approximately the same size heads, so that means smaller people will have proportionally larger heads. So I'm going to have to add another variable, which will be head height. This will relate to the height variable by using the expression 1 over height. We can vary geometry. So you have two different types of geos for your tops. Let's bring on another geo node and load it in with a different top. So we have a sweatshirt and a shirt. You can use the agent variable to vary between two or more geo nodes. And to do that we need an option node. And we plug the two options into it. If we have a look at the option node, we can see that moving this value slider, anything below 0 0.5 we get a sweatshirt and anything above we get a t-shirt. So let's go and create a variable to control that. Click on the workspace and click on add. And we'll change this name to top type and give it a range of 0 to 1. Now if we click back onto the option node we can apply that variable to it. Something else we can vary is textures for geometry. So let's have a look at t-shirt if we have different textures for the shirt, we can use variables to choose between the different texture maps. So if we bring in the maps folder, you can see that we have four different types of texture maps for the shirt. So let's go and click on add. And let's name this shirt map. Now, there were four different types of shirts, so we set the range from 1 to 4. So the variation will be set between those four maps. Now let's go and apply these agent variables to the agent. So if we go to the vary tab. For the scale, we're going to be using the height agent variable. For the head, click on the head segment, go to the vary tab, and this will be controlled by the head height agent variable. Now let's go and set up the shirt texture. Click on the shirt geo node and bring on a material node. Go to the texture map, and we're going to be loading in one of the shirt maps. We want Massive to randomly pick one of those four maps. So we're going to need to replace the number one with the variable name and put those in single quotes. 
if you remember we gave the variable a range of 1 to 4 so massive will randomly select a value for each agent and round to the nearest when selecting the shirt map so all that's left to do now is to place the agents in the scene and see the variables applied to them there we have it different shirts and we have different heights for the agents